this video we'll go through the basic steps in creating wall panel breaks and generating the framing for them. For end user flexibility, there are a few ways of actually generating the wall panel breaks. One would be to use the wall menu in the panel section of the modeling tab. In this menu, you can add a single manual panel break with this option, simply selecting the wall to add the break to and clicking the location for it. Then to break up the walls into panels automatically, you can use the generate panels function, then selecting the walls you want to panelize. Alternatively, these commands can be used from the contextual wall tab or the right click menu having previously selected a wall or walls. Whichever method is used will bring up the wall panelizing settings window. It's possible to use the default system settings or save them as project specific settings. The basic tab has a number of options. Here you can define the structural layer that will be included within the panel based on the wall type you're using. All of these can be toggled on or off. With the exception of framing, which is greyed out and permanently switched on, corner details allows you to control how the corners are held back. For instance, with vertical walls extended, we'll cut back the horizontal panels. Panel labels can also be set here, either from the wall attributes or the wall type. Interior view allows you to flip the view and direction and label of the panel. There is an option to automatically leave out layers that don't have framing tools. This could be siding or a sheathing layer that doesn't have a framing tool, for example. The advanced tab gives the user options for setting first panel lengths and setting any extra length for this first panel, as well as which modeling pair the panel volume is added to. Panelization direction allows you to choose the way the panels are numbered. There is an option to ensure that panels aren't split over openings, as well as a definable value that any break should be from an opening. There are also further cladding pattern options should this be applicable. However, in this case, I will just click OK and my walls will be broken into panels based on what was set up in the project parameters. When panelizing, only the panel breaks themselves are generated, not the frame, which gives us an opportunity to amend the panel layout before generating the framing. With the new version, panels can be easily selected by clicking the panel label. Panels can then be easily resized by clicking the grip points at each end. If the panel is going to a corner, the overlapping panel can be swapped by right clicking the grip point and choosing the flip corner connection command. Panels can also be easily split in two using the cut by point command from the context sensitive menu. Once the panels are arranged as required, then we can generate the framing. Either select the panels and use the generate parts command from the right click menu or from the framing section of the panel tab from the ribbon. The quickest method when generating all of the panels is to use the generate parts command from the wall panel menu in the modeling tab, then simply dragging a box around all of the walls and confirming. The parts of the 3D framing model will then be automatically generated and all wall frames are editable in 2D or 3D. However, please see the next video in our series for further information.